Most people credit Italian explorer Christopher Columbus, who oddly looked like Mr. Bean, for being the first European to explore North America. But most historians believe that some Viking sailors from Norway landed in Canada around 1000 AD, almost 500 years before Columbus. So we'll give old Columbus a good swift kick in the pants. Evidence for this story has been found in Viking manuscripts called sagas. A main character in these sagas is a young outlaw named Eric the Red. Most historians think that this name has to do with the color of his hair. Eric sailed away from Norway to Iceland with his family and a neighbor. Heidi ho, neighbor! And then Eric actually <gasps> killed him. Eric the Red later on sailed west to Greenland. It was Eric's son, Leif, who sailed further west to a new world. Leif heard about this new world from a story that he heard as a boy. Leif was intrigued by this thought of a new world. So at the age of 25, Leif Erikson sailed to find a new world. He succeeded to do so with only 35 men on his crew. They landed in a place that Leif called Rock Slavland, Hinga Dinga Turk. Leif and his crew stayed there a few years and then sailed to another island. Leif called it Markland. Which means forest land in Norwegian. Most historians think that it is near the southern tip of Newfoundland. There they found an abundance of grapes, perfect for making wine. They later sailed back to Greenland with another boat being towed behind it, filled with grapes. In 1960, archaeologists found some Viking artifacts in several homes near Newfoundland. So that proves that Leif Erikson discovered America by almost 500 years before Columbus all without a single compass or map. So bravo, Mr. Leif Erikson, for beating Columbus. Yeah, Inga Dinga Durgan.